guys thanks for joining me now let's look at five factors that should influence your decision when choosing your curtains or your drapery length now oftentimes curtains and draperies are used interchangeably however curtains are unlined and draperies are lined and that's the major difference between curtains and draperies so the three lengths of curtains or draperies that are available for you to choose from are floor length, sill length, and apron length. Depending on which one, by the way, I do have a video out on the channel that goes into detail about the different lengths of curtain so do check that out depending on which one of these you choose for your window it can either enhance your design in the space or it can take away from it so let's look at those five factors that should influence your decision as to which length you choose now the factors are not listed in order of importance so let's get at it number one your existing design style in the space now if you have a room that all you need to add to it is your window treatment then you want to make sure that whatever you whatever length you choose complements the space that's existing so if you have a formal traditional living room for example you will not want to go with apron length curtain nor sill length curtain you will want to go with your full length floor length curtain so that's another term for floor length curtain full length curtain so that's the one you'd want to choose for a more formal space number two if you have a blank slate and you are planning your space you have to get your your curtains or your draperies your best bet is to look at the design direction that you want to go in and let that influence how you choose your length for your curtains so if you want to go shabby chic farmhouse then yeah sill length draperies or curtains would be good and so would apron length you could also choose floor length for your shabby chic farmhouse design style what would make the difference is the type of fabric that you choose and the heading that you choose now i don't have a video out on headings and fabrics yet for making curtains and draperies however look for it i should be releasing one soon now the third one obstruction a common obstruction for draperies or curtains are radiators radiators that sit under the windows now what do you do if you have a formal space and you want to install curtains or draperies now you could think about choosing apron length or sill length but these are not formal lengths at all for your curtains so this is what i would do i would install stationary panels on either side of the window so you don't have to pull them across your radiator sitting at the bottom and then install a roman blind or whether it's a hard blind or a soft blind all 
over the window itself. In so doing, you will have that Roman blind that is functional. It covers the window. It insulates the window and your draperies will flank the window and enhance the look of the window so you will get that formal feel that you are going after so that is one way of getting around a radiator that's obstructing your window treatment now the fourth one location of the window you know sometimes in some older homes you have windows that are located in bathrooms but in the bath now what do you do when you have a window that's located in the bath and you want to put up a curtain what you do is you use a sill length curtain I wouldn't take it, I wouldn't even take it down to the apron, but that wouldn't be an issue. You could take it down to the apron, but a sill length curtain for a window in the bath would be just fine. Moreover, you could actually use a Roman blind over a window that is in the shower rather than a curtain. You could also have one in your kitchen, a window sitting in your kitchen that's actually just above your kitchen counter. Those are generally pretty common where you have the window sitting over your kitchen counter just by the sink. In that instance, we're looking for curtains, then we're going to go sill length or apron length. So that's number four. Number five, the size of your window. Now, even if you're going for farmhouse, shabby chic or country, and you're thinking of curtains, if your window is so big that it sits all the way down here maybe just a few inches up to a foot off the floor then what do you do in that instance you got to choose a full length curtain because your apron length would just be skirting above the floor or your sill length would just be skirting above the floor so that is what I am talking about when I talk about the size of your window. It's mainly how far down your window goes to your floor. If it goes that far down, full length or floor length, draperies or curtains are your best bet. So those are the five factors. I hope that helps. Now, Remember, before you leave, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos. Also, if this video was helpful to you, please give a thumbs up, share with somebody and leave a comment below. Thanks so much again for watching the videos and you take care. I'll see you for the next lesson.